Quarantine centers have been set up around Wuhan to help deal with the influx of patients in the city's hospitals. Confirmed cases from these areas will be then transferred to the new Huoshenchang Hospital. Our reporter Xu Xingsheng visits one such center. So this is just a regular hotel room uh, converted to an isolation point, but they made they didn't make much of a modification because it's a pretty nice and well-equipped uh, ho ho hotel already. But they put in some medical supplies like facial uh, masks and a thermometer, and they have a brochure for the patient, uh, for the people who have checked in, learn more about the coronavirus. So they were going to offer free meal, and the room is free of charge, and the medical surveillance is about 14 days, because uh, that's what we learn right now. Uh, the incubation time is about 14 days. So for the f first 14 days, uh, people who actually contracted the coronavirus might not show much of a symptom. And uh, so five floors inside of this hotel are, are already taking in uh, people who have been in close contact with uh, those, uh, cr uh, those uh, confirmed with the coronavirus. And this specific point will take in about 70 uh, patients. And across this district, which is the Wuchang district in Wuhan, one of the uh, in its downtown area, there are three uh, similar, another two uh, similar isolation points. So uh, three to get, uh, three in total. And I also learned from another district close to Wuchang, they have another four similar isolation points. So well, well, right now we know the city, the city of Wuhan has already uh, rolled out a third batch of hospitals that can treat coronavirus. So in total, we have 27 hospitals in the city can now take in patients uh, highly likely uh, contracted with the virus or confirmed with the virus. But still, there is a there are there is a lack of hospital beds, and that's when these kind of isolation points can help reduce the burden and the pressure on hospitals uh, right now.